Hey guys, it's Gwyneth. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be decluttering my makeup. This is so long overdue. Some of the stuff I am decluttering, it's not necessarily that I don't like it. It's just a lot of my makeup has expired. Sadly, I have like that little thing on it that says like 12M or 24M, depending on how long they last. But if you forgot when you bought it, like I do, sometimes I'm like, oh, I bought that six months ago. And it's like, no, you bought it a year ago. This is my declutter. I challenge all of y'all to go ahead and declutter. is so messy and like coated with other makeup and I know y'all are gonna judge me um, but I actually did go through and like wipe off all my makeup with makeup remover wipes but it's like stained with makeup so whatever y'all can judge but that's my truth <laughs> alright so here starting at the top of my vanity so I, this is just like my makeup brushes that I'm currently using ones that like I've used and are dirty they're sitting in here just so I know to wash them um, up top I just have this is more of just a collector's item Marc Jacob Marvelous Mousse Foundation and then up here these are all ColourPop lippies I actually have more ColourPop lippies than these the reason these are pulled out is because I want to make sure I use these and show them some love and they're also starting to be in season since they're all dark reds for the most part uh, red lips shiny lips bronze sparkles like I'm so ready to dive into these the season so I just put them up here so I wouldn't forget them and they also look kind of cute displayed so there we go but I knew if I threw these in my collection they wouldn't get enough love so that's why they are sitting up here right now alright let's go ahead and actually dive into the drawer alright so starting with this first drawer I don't think I'll be getting rid of anything in here this is just where I like to store a larger palette so I have my cheek braid palette it's from Benefit and I love it we'll keep that same with this Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm actually excited to dive into this because it's, um, I really like this frosty blue shade. I feel like it's so gorgeous in the winter. So I am excited to hold on to this and dive into it. Some of them are a little bit deep for my skin tone, um, but I like to use these as shimmery eyeshadows. My Kat Von D contour palette, we'll be keeping that as well. Measurable difference, it's a concealer collection. Honestly, I keep it kind of for like random needs. It's not like something I use consistently, but I use some of this for like Halloween makeup and stuff this year. And then lastly is this contour palette, which actually I haven't touched this in a hot minute, but I do like it and I want to dive back into it, so I will hold on to it. Alright, moving on to the second drawer, Kevin Aucon powder. I'm obsessed with this. It's the Neo Setting Powder. This just makes your skin look flawless, so it starts like matte and goes shimmery, and then you can find like your blend in the middle. This is amazing. One of the best powders I've ever used. I feel like I will hold on to all my setting powders because I don't have a ton. I only have six of them. So this is the Becca Hydra Mist Setting Refresh Powder. This powder is so cool. When you put it on, it's freezing, but in the best way possible. Cody Airspun. I dropped it though and it cracked and it cracked all the way down so it's been like leaking powder. So that hasn't been very fun, but I love this stuff. And then the other two, oh my gosh, powder drawers get so messy. It's insane. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish powder, which I like, as well as the Milani Make It Last powder. I feel like these kind of are pretty similar, except the Milani has a slight tint to it. So I will be keeping this stuff. It's the Pure Bronze and Brighten. This is more of like a summery shade, but it is so gorgeous. And this highlighter is amazing. I have this Becca Blush Trio. They're in these shades... Wisperia, Songbird, and Snapdragon. So that's what they look like. These are really gorgeous too. I love mauve tone blushes, so I really gravitate towards these, and they're really pretty when you mix them all together. Next is the Crush on You palette from ColourPop. This is so gorgeous. I love these highlights. The Pure Signature palette. So this is with contour and highlight. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile because I like this a lot, but I don't really... Oh, I'm so torn. I do like this a lot, I just feel like I don't grab it, and so it's not expired, it's still good, and so for that reason, I feel like maybe I should give it away. We're going to put it in the maybe pile. Next thing, I actually really like this and I want to dive into it more. Um, Madeline picked this out for me when we did our collaboration. If you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked right here. She placed an Ulta order for me and ordered a bunch of makeup, and honestly, most of it was pretty dang good. And this is one of them. It's California in a Box from Catrice, and I really, really like this. My biggest complaint, though, is that the pan sizes are kind of small, so it is hard to, like, use the bronzers, but the product itself is really nice, so I'm going to hold on to that, especially because I love having, like, these affordable options to talk about on my channel. Moving up here, my Tried and True Contour Stick, which is actually running on E. Like, it won't twist up anymore, guys. So I need to buy a new one of these. They're like $10. Probably going to buy one soon. 
Um, Alomar Cosmetics. This is a blush palette. I'm kind of torn because I really like these blushes too, but I think it needs to go in the maybe pile. Next is this Bella Paris Pro Con or Concealer Palette, and I actually really like this palette, but luckily I haven't had to do too much color correcting. That's not really something I focus on, which, you know, I am happy for. Maybe the main thing I could use it for is green because that cancels out redness, like for acne, but I don't really dive into it too much. I've all this so much. I love it because it's like a trio. It's from Ulta Beauty. This brand is like so underrated. I have a lot of products from Ulta Beauty and they are so awesome and they're affordable and I love this trio to just throw in my bag because it's a really nice bronzer blush and highlight and they're like more neutral too so I can wear them for like every day and build up the highlighter if I want to be more glam so I really like this and it's cardboard packaging so it's really light and then it's not glass so it's really travel friendly. My butter bronzer you already know I love it I have hit pan still working on it I will love this forever. Next is my Artist Couture Highlighter. Oh my gosh, there's powder everywhere in this drawer. I love this. This is my go-to, like, really want to be glam highlight. So I will be holding on to this. This I'm going to get rid of. It's from Hard Candy, and it's their waterproof highlighter. It's a little bit deeper than I usually go for a highlight, so it hasn't really been getting that much love. A liquid highlight and a liquid bronzer, both from Temp2 and Temp2 Beauty or whatever they're called. And I actually really like these. They're great for summer, so I'm going to hold on to these because I like to gravitate more towards liquid products in the summer. All right, the last bin over here, last compartment, I should say, the Too Faced Soulmates bronzer. I love this. I have it in the shade Ross and Rachel. It, this is definitely well past expired, but I keep it purely for a collector's item, so I will hold on to that. I really should have more like makeup displays. Um, the Laura Geller Baked Color Bronzer and Sunset Glow. I love this. It's an amazing trio. I got it at Marshalls. Um, the reason I hold on to this, the blush and highlight are nice, but the reason I hold on to it is because this bronzer is amazing. It's the perfect cool tone bronzer, but it warms up your skin and also contours at the same time. It's like a two-in-one product, and it's amazing. Um, so I would definitely look into some Laura Geller bronzers if I were y'all. <gasps> now that I think about it. Oh my gosh! I just realized I've been non-stop using this other Laura Geller bronzer and it's my new favorite thing. And I think now that it might actually be the same one. Just a little bit different shade. Yeah, it's like the same style though because it's both from their Bacon Balance and glow like their baked line and I actually wore it the other day and was putting it on and Emma and I were getting ready and like doing our makeup in my bathroom together because I have a really big vanity anyways and she saw me put it on and she instantly in like two seconds was like oh my god what are you wearing so this is amazing so Laura Geller bronzers go pick them up they're amazing Back to the drawer, finishing up. This Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It's a banana shade and a contour shade. I've had this for a while. It hasn't really been getting any love, so I'm going to pass it on. This is a pure shimmery brick highlighter. This is definitely more for the summer, but I love it, and I'm going to hold on to it. I also just like this big mirror. So we're making a progress. Let's move on to the next drawer. And then you will see these other ones, like the one that was in the last drawer that's foam. I made these out of foam and with a hot glue gun, all from Dollar Tree. I'll post that video right here, and that has... How I made the styrofoam. So I guess let's start off with a blush. So I have this little mini blush from Tarte. It is in the shade Parte. It's a small size so I like to travel with it so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Then I have this mauve elf, br elf blush in Mellow Mauve. Go, okay, that's a nice one too. This one I wear a lot too in Celebrated from Tarte. Love Flush is the line. Love Hangover is the shade. And I have this Buxom Blush and Intoxicated. I really like this, or Intoxicate. I really like this and I think it's so pretty and I love that it's frosty, but guys, I have had this for years and years. It's probably time to say goodbye to this one. Then I have these two Kat Von D blushes. I have two of them. This one's a little bit more mauve tone and then this one's a little bit more on the pinky side. The first one that's more mauve is Pife and Poe. And then this one is Mickey and Mallory. Alright, then I have this pretty vulgar blush and make them blush. Really pretty, but I'm just not that crazy about this. Like, I just never grab it, so I'm going to give that away. Then I have Down Boy from The Balm. I love this blush. I will keep it. As you see, there is a running theme with my blushes. A little blush and contour duo. It's from e.l.f. and it's their Fiji Matte Duo. 
I think I'm going to pass this along. So I have two Becca highlighters. This one, Seco Pop. This one I just got in this month's boxy charm. This is in Vanilla Quartz. Ooh. Very, very gorgeous. I have my Ofra highlighter collection. I love all of these. So I have Beverly Hills, which is like the whirl. The wheel one. The whirl. This one in You Do You. So this last one is in Rodeo Drive, a classic beautiful gold one. Then I have my Essence Pure Nude highlighter. This one is so gorgeous. I really like this one. The Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. Such a classic. Mary Luminizers is probably one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's from The Bomb. I've used quite a bit. You can see I'm about to hit pink. I think I'm going to give this away. It's Steve Laurent. It I got it in BoxyCharm and I'm torn if I want to give it away or not because it is a jelly highlighter which I think is really cool. Like the texture feels really cool and it's like very creamy. Um, but my biggest concern is that I just don't grab it that much and I don't really wear um, the pinky shades as much so I'm going to pass that along. Next is a pretty vulgar highlighter in the shade Sparkling Sass just seems a little bit chunky for my taste like it's a chunky highlighter so I think I'm going to pass that along as well then another highlight hanging out over here is this Revolution Beauty Vivid Bake highlighter and that is very pretty so we are going to hold on to that alright so now moving over here just starting from the back I said I don't think I've used this before so I definitely want to keep it because I've been loving Laura Geller products lately I just don't know why I I don't know I don't know what I was thinking with that. And then this is the bronzer that I've been loving. It's their baked bronzer. It just says in the shade medium. Then I've been actually like rediscovering some old favorites. This is the Too Faced 16 Hour Endless Summer Bronzer. And I did use that in my last tutorial. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I feel like I need to get rid of this. Ofra Pressed Oil Control. I probably should get rid of this, but I'm going to hold on to it because I do like it when I'm like touching up my makeup. I like to take a small brush and concentrate this in oily areas. This one, Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I don't use this often because it is like my deep summer shade, but I like to use it when sometimes I look a little bit too pale. I'll dust just, like if my foundation's too light, I'll just dust a light layer of this over my skin since it's like a foundation powder and it just sets it to the right tone. Um, so I will hold on to that. And then lastly is this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want to keep this. I think I do for the same reason of the Ofra, like the spot um, concealing, like because I do have oily skin, and um, so I do like that model and picked like this size of powder because it's really convenient and tiny to like throw in my purse, and I can just take out like a little bit and blot my oil and then just pack this on. Next drawer, I think I'm going to keep all the eyelid primers because I just have the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Milani Eyeshadow Primer and they're kind of, this one's kind of a dupe for this one, but I like the consistency. We'll keep those. I'm going to keep this Too Faced Glitter Glue just for when I'm using glitters. And then lastly is the Ulta Beauty Nude Matte Eyelid Concealer or Eyeshadow Primer, I should say. And this is so thick that like it will, a little bit goes a long way, but I like it to really cancel out my veins. So we'll keep that eyebrow products. I'm really sad because I have to get rid of this Ulta Beauty brow tint. Uh, this is in the shade medium and I'm sad because I actually really like the product but man it has just started smelling so funky and I know it's because it's expired so it's got to go. This one I will keep the mellow brow uh, tinted brow gel. I like that a lot. So I'm going to keep the Bliss Holy Brow. I use that quite frequently. This one I've just completely used up. I don't know why it's still in here. It's the Brow Gal Tanya Crooks Micro Brow, which I do like it because the wand is so tiny, but it is used up and old, so goodbye. I think I'm going to just pass it along because I don't really like this that much, but um, it's the Micro Blade Effect. And that's just not really my style, but my sisters are both into doing their eyebrows, so maybe they'll like this. I'll keep this. It's the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Lingering, and then I'll also keep the IT Brow Power. Over here, I have Kiss Eyelash Glue that I got from Influencer, just holding on to my MAC Pigment in, I think it's Old Gold. Over here, we just have some um, gel eyeliners. Well, this one's a black ink eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar. I really like this, so we'll keep that. Um, and then this brown one uh, from ColourPop and it's Mr. Bing. Over here I have two eyelash curlers. Alright, the mascaras, the things that so badly need to be sorted through. I think this mascara I'm going to pass along. It's the 
Mina Carter Beauty. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Blooming Voluminizing Mascara. I thought it was nice, but it's just not one of my favorites, so I haven't really grabbed it lately. I know for sure I want to keep the Big Ego Tarte Mascara. This is actually currently my favorite mascara. Love, love, love it. Another favorite I will be keeping is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I will be keeping this Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. This I will be getting rid of. It's the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, and I actually love this mascara, but the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because it was the collab with Shayla, I don't know who that is, I think it's a beauty YouTuber, but anyways, um, it's the purple one, and I didn't know that, and some may say, uh, there's purple on the packaging, there's always purple on the packaging, <laughs> so I would suggest this, this is my favorite drugstore mascara, um, but this is just the purple one, and so it doesn't, like, really have the same dramatic effect that I like when it is black, so I'm getting rid of that. Okay, I used this Buxom mascara in Black is Black the other day, and I swear it did absolutely nothing. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. This, I think I need to pass on. It's the Henry, Hank and Henry mascara, and at first I was obsessed with this. Like, it is so nice, and I really like it because it has a top mascara, and then the other side is a really tiny wand for like your lower lash line. And it even claimed on its website that this like was smudge proof, blah, blah, blah. The whole day, like every 15 minutes, I was having to wipe mascara off of my face. Like it was not cute. It was getting up on my eyebrows, running under my eyes. Like this would not stay. And I wasn't wearing anything else. Like I wasn't wearing eyeshadow or eyeliner. I was just wearing mascara. And so I know it was this product. So not a fan. Do not like this. Ah, okay. Look how goopy this mascara is. Ugh, throwing that away. And that was a hard candy, athletic wear, waterproof mascara. The Superhero It Mascara. I think I actually am going to hold on to that. The Essence Lash Mascara. This was actually really nice at first. My biggest issue with it is it's very drying. So I could just like feel the dryness on my eyelashes. Some people that doesn't bother, but for me it kind of irritated around my lash line. So I wasn't crazy about this. All right, and then just these smaller ones I am going to keep just to hold on to because I kind of like having smaller ones to throw in. And then some of these I still haven't tried. This is the Lancome Silas Booster XL. This is the Clinique Lash Power Feathering Mascara. Um, Benefit Bad Gal Lash. And then lastly, MAC and Extreme Dimension Lash. And I have... Oh, here's another eyelash. Or another mascara. Oh, I like this a lot. It's the Laura Geller Glam Lash. This one's really nice. See, that's how many mascaras I have. They like filled over into other bins and I didn't even notice. Now for eyeliners, I'm probably gonna keep them. I like this nude one from Rimmel, blue one from Too Faced. I love all of these cargo ones. I have three ones like a deep brown, an emerald green, and then a bronze shade. I have Mr. Bing from ColourPop. I have this brown one from Stila in the shade Lionfish. A silver one, Grey Tide from MAC. A bronze one from Bodyography Belly Bronze. Uh, because I do have multiple bronze shades, I'm going to pass this one along. I don't think I've used it. If I have it, it was just once when I got it. And then I love this one, the Mali Beauty. I've showed this many times because I love this like frosty blue shade. All right, and then the last one over here is just my go-to like black eyeliner, which most of these I'm pretty content with and will probably stick with. I'm keeping the e.l.f. pen, the Milani Stay Put Matte Eyeliner, and also the Essence Eyeliner. This one's awesome. It's their pen, and they have tons of these. They're only $3, so if you do want to get them, I suggest this one. It's black packaging with blue writing. It's waterproof. I love this one from Stila, it's their Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, but as you can see, it is dried out for the most part. So this one's a hard candy waterproof, just black eyeliner pencil. Again, the Cargo Swimmables, I love these. Maybelline Lasting Drama in Jet Black. Oh, Urban Decay All Nighter. And then this Hank and Henry one, it's their Slick With It Eyeliner. It's in the shade Blickety Black. Looks like it's drying pretty mad to me, so we'll hold on to that. All right, next drawer, my eyeshadow palette. It's one of my favorite drawers. I actually did a pretty heavy purge of this recently, so I don't know if we'll necessarily be getting rid of a ton of stuff, but I know there's a few I can get rid of. I will be keeping my Tarte palette, just my Z palette, Laura Lee Cat's Pajama palette, Urban Decay Naked. This is well past expired, but it was my first palette to ever purchase, so I'm just keeping that as more. Mems. Chris and Dominique Latte Palette. I was talking to y'all about this in my last video. I love this. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this just for some good 
basic go-tos. Next is this crown palette. It doesn't say like what the palette name is. My two palettes from the bomb, Meet Matte Tremony and Meet Matte Nude. Then we have this Pure Cosmetics Festival palette. And although we established I wasn't crazy about the glitters, I love the shimmers in this and the other um, eyeshadow. So I will keep that Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Just used that in my last video. Uh, Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Next is the Violet Boss Essentials palette. I just got this and I've only got to play with it once. So I'm still pretty interested in it. I'm going to hold on to it. Next is this palette from Ace Beauty, the Grandioso palette. This is so gorgeous. I love it and the Great Gatsby vibes of it and all. And then my little mini ColourPop collection over here, which I love. This one is so dirty, don't judge. It's a QAF ColourPop palette. This is the one I probably travel with the absolute most. These shadows are so pigmented that they stain the packaging really easily. Um, then I have the Femme Rosa palette, which is all blush tones, and the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette, also from ColourPop. So I travel with these all the time. Um, next is this Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette, and I got sent this in, uh, Influencer. Whoa! Influencer, and I really liked it when I tried it, but now I, like, haven't touched it since, so I feel like I should pass it on to a friend. I'm gonna keep this. It's a Laura Geller Party Animal Palette, and I just like it for the pops of color, so if I do need them, I have them right there. The Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette, which is all matte shades. This Tarte Palette. I love these. Love, love, love these colors. They are so gorgeous. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I actually had one and two and I gave those away. This one I think I will be getting, giving away. It's Butter London and it's this palette here. And although it is really gorgeous, I just haven't grabbed it. It's this one is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, but um, these colors are super, super gorgeous and I really liked this. And I have another Kristen Dominique palette I just got in BoxyCharm that I'm so excited about, the Celestial Thunder palette. This is so gorgeous. Up here, I probably will get rid of some of this stuff. I have this Becca Trio and it's in the shade Eclipse. I haven't really gotten to use it. Um, I have this Smashbox Trio in the shade Naked Crisp and Dough. I just don't ever use that either, so I'll get rid of that. This I am going to go hold on to. It's just a glitter eye topper from Ulta, and I just think it's so gorgeous. And it's just such a universal shade, so I think I'll hold on to that for a little bit of glam. Same with this palette here from JCat Beauty. It's a sparkling cream palette, and these sparkling shades are so freaking gorgeous. I kind of want to do an all navy eye color and do this navy sparkle here. Laura Lee Violet Boss palette and this was just one of her first palettes that she did in a collaboration that came out and I'm just such a fan so I just have this more as a collector's item at this point because these eyeshadows are well past expired I'm pretty sure this is like three or four years old um, but it just hangs out in my collection more as a nice memory and then I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I really, really like this. I love all the colors that come in this. Jaclyn did a great job. Um, and then I have the Morphe 3502 palette, which I think is so gorgeous. And it's all these hot red shades and warm tones. I love warm tone eyeshadows, so I was really excited about this palette. All right, now we're on to lipsticks. Y'all saw me heavily purge this previously, so I don't know if there will be much that I'll get rid of. Alright guys, so after much swatching from the lipstick drawer, there's actually only two things that I'm getting rid of. The things in there that are expired that I didn't get rid of are things that I'm purposely keeping because of like collector's items and like limited edition packaging. But I am getting rid of this Tristy Prime and Color Lip Glaze. So like at the back it has this lip primer you put on and then it has little color right there which is really pretty but I do have a lot of this color and this packaging is really bulky so it's harder for me to like quickly just throw it and carry it somewhere so I am getting rid of that and then I'm also getting rid of this Bite Beauty lip primer just because I don't prime my lips I don't know about y'all but I don't but this is really nice and it smells like like menthol uh like essential oils I really like the smell but I'm gonna pass it on to a friend who will get more use out of it needs a large declutter. Maybe we should start off with setting sprays. The first one I'm going to get rid of, I mainly have just held it's basically empty. I've just been holding on to it to remember to buy more because this is amazing. It's definitely like my one of my top favorites. My actual two top favorite setting sprays I'm going to be getting rid of because this one's so gross and old because they're both empty, hence why they are my favorites. The Milani Make It Last setting spray. I love this. We'll repurchase, but tossing out today and then this pearlescence white charcoal spray I love this as well but 
got to go. I'm also going to be passing this on to a friend. It's the Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. And it's actually really nice. I just have some other favorites. So this isn't getting a lot of love. And so I'm going to pass it off. We'll be keeping this one from Iconic London. The Prep Set and Glow. I have been using this so much lately. And I actually really like it. Which is surprising because it has specks of glitter in it. And for those who don't know, I hate glitter with like a passion. But this actually doesn't really bother me. Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to keep this Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. This is kind of the same thing as the iconic one that you get, uh, you get, this one actually sounds like a spray can, but you get little flecks of glitter on your face, which I'm not crazy about, but I really like this, and the mist on this is so gentle and just soft on your skin, it's crazy, so I like that. Hard Candy, their Athletic Wear, Just Showered Cleansing and Energizing Mist. I use this more as like a prep, like a primer spray, but I like it a lot, and it smells so good so keeping that and then lastly this one I am holding on to but not to set my face with it's the refreshing facial prime and mist uh prime and set mist and it's from Giovanni so I do use this sometimes to prime my face uh, but I don't use it as a setting spray I'm not really crazy about it for setting but I do use it to prime and also to dampen my brush with my eyeshadows on them so these are primers next door i have the hard candy sheer envy pore defense primer and i actually really like this but this is so insanely expired i just can't use it anymore these two i will be keeping aoa studio wonder skin primer i got this for a dollar on shop miss a site this one is the instant age rewind from maybelline i like this to just fill in my pores i'm going to keep these two the cover effects illuminating or blurring primer and the benefit professional primer but they both are running pretty low so i am keeping these but they'll probably be used up within like the next month or so i have been non-stop using this no problem professional primer from touch and soul and i've been loving it and i've been mixing it with their this one i actually totally forgot that i had which makes me kind of mad but this is the whole reason why we're decluttering right so this is the wonder beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil and i think i want to hold on to this because i pretty sure i only tried it once so i really want to give this a try the dr brandt pours no more uh, luminizing primer base. I will be keeping that. The sample size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I will be keeping that as well. I am going to get rid of this. It's a Too Faced Hangover Primer, and this is really, really good, but it is way past expired. So let's do concealer. A lot of these need to go and are expired. So I will be keeping the Tarte Shape Tape. Love it. It is running on E though. The Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. This is really good too. I'm pretty sure this is almost out though. I love this Flower Beauty Illuminating Concealer that Madeline picked out for me. It's so nice and lightweight. This Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer I used to carve out my eyebrows, so that is staying, but it's not really my favorite for under the eyes. I am going to be getting rid of this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It is just so insanely expired. I'm going to be getting rid of the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, although I have some left. Uh, I haven't used this in forever, and I'm pretty sure this sponge is like crawling with bacteria, so we're throwing that out. There's like nothing left in this, but this is so good. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I love this. I'm putting it on my makeup list to repurchase. LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to get rid of this because I used it in my last video and it was just like running on E. I was squeezing it as hard as I could to get stuff out. It is donezo, but it's a good concealer. And then I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this one is like a red tone and it hasn't even been used before. So I think I'm going to pass it off to someone else who likes to do color correcting. Time for foundation. This one is empty. It's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Concealer. I have two of them. Um, this is just the empty bottle. It needs to go. I don't know why I still had it in there. This needs to go. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've had this forever. It's so old. This I just got. It's a Laura Gala filter first. It's definitely a little bit deep for me. It's going to be a summer shade, but I will hold on to that. I'm going to be holding on to this LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation. I think I remember liking this just a little deep for me right now. This e.l.f. Cosmetics. I think this is the Flawless Foundation. And I'm in the shade Sand. Hold on to that. As much as it makes me sad, I need to get rid of this. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I love this foundation. It's just crazy expired. Needs to go. I haven't touched it in like a year because I knew it was expired. I don't know why I held on to it, but needs to go this i will hold on to but again it's a little deep for me it's the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation this one i love and it's amazing i got it at marshall's when taylor and i were in florida 
so this was not this summer last summer so it's definitely old but it's so pretty and it's the like what is it called aqua luminous perfecting foundation i'm in the shade beige i definitely need to try to hunt this down look at that lipstick getting all over my fingers anyways i need to hunt this down because this was such a nice foundation i was obsessed with it i wore it 24 7 it looked so good and sadly it is donezo but there's still like this much left so that's why it makes me sad that i have to get rid of it but it's expired and would probably destroy my skin if i put it on now so goodbye becca these two, I think I'm going to hold on to. They're just Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Such a good foundation to go to. They're uh, deeper shades for me, though. And then back here, we have these two Milk Makeup Foundations. I've had these for a while, but we're going to hold on to them. I have it in light, medium, and medium. And then I'm also keeping this Anastasia Stick Foundation in Warm Natural. Alright guys, so that is it for this declutter. I like to watch declutters. I think they're really satisfying and I kind of like to see what people really did end up using in their collection and what they didn't. Keep in mind, I am a student so I don't really dress up that much Monday through Friday. If my makeup gets low, it's usually on the weekends. So those who have like full-time jobs and are working every day, they probably use makeup products more than me. But yeah, I used to like makeup every single day but college kind of changed that a little bit only have a year and a half left of college though so hopefully that tempo will be changing soon and i'll have more money to buy some more makeup let me know what y'all thought about this declutter down below and again i challenge all of y'all to declutter as well all right guys that's it for this video hope you like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next one bye